We all work with people, and I feel it's easy to work with women, but working with insecure women, it's very hard. Today, I want to share with you how I feel about working with insecure women and how best can we go about it. Let's dive right in. back this is free house and these are my random thoughts and feelings i'm just letting it out of course all of us have our own insecurities especially when it comes to us women but i feel like it's quite difficult to work with insecure women i know you you may agree or disagree with me but let's find out working with an insecure woman it makes you feel as if you're the wrong person in the game they make you feel as if what you're doing is totally wrong or maybe you're offending them. I don't know your experience with that. You're working on a project, for example, with someone, uh, a lady, perhaps you want to have this girl team and you want to achieve something together. And all of a sudden, someone feel like, uh -uh, this person um, is, is a show off. And in the end, the project fails. I mean, there's that kind of tension that starts to build up between the two of you and yet you were working as a team. So how do you know if you're working with an insecure woman? Insecure women, they tend to let down invitations or reject invitations at the last hour or commitments. In other words, if you agree on doing a project or a certain project or a certain assignment, or you have been invited somewhere, they will turn you down at the last minute with no clear explanation or clear reason. They just snap out like this because they know maybe whatever you're doing or whatever you're working upon, you're going to kill to steal their show or they feel like they're not shining enough. If you've ever been in that situation, that kind of person, trust me, is insecure or somehow feels bad that you're stealing the show from them. Another indicator of an insecure woman is uh, the fact that they always want to know what you up to. They ask funny questions. Uh, they, they want to know your friends. They want to become friends with your friends. I mean, they don't want to miss out on anything about you. Even if it's your boyfriend, even if it's your anything you're working on, they always want to know so that they can know exactly what you up to. And in most cases, they may end up even becoming friends with your friends. And you may find that the people who used to be your friends before, they are no longer friends, they are friends with, with that person whom you've been working with. That kind of scenario, it happens especially with friends. Um, if you have, let's say, boyfriend, someone comes, you introduce your boyfriend to your maybe workmate or your boyfriend, I mean, or your friend, and before you know it, these two are in a relationship, and it's you who introduced them. Trust me, you've been blind. That person has been insecure uh, in your presence. I mean, your presence really bothers them. The other indicator of a woman who is insecure is that everything to them is personal. Everything that happens around the space where you two are, it's very personal and in a way that they want everything to be about them, either positive or negative, it's always about them. For example, you're in a meeting and maybe your boss mentions something or suggests something. They always take offense, be like, oh, you see, you see how th that person looked at me? You see how this, they are always playing the blame game and they're always the good in the story. I mean, they never take time to reflect on themselves, but every other bad thing it's uh, about you who is working with them. A slight mistake, a slight uh, absence of attention from them, they feel offended. They even start doing things the way you do them. Uh, you know, they are observant. They are always probing you, want to know everything about you. They stalk you on your socials. They do everything. And what they do, if they can't match your energy, they go get, now, they go get clicks and all that, and they start doing things the way you do them. They don't really need it, but because they feel like if they do things the way you do them, they will be in the place where you are. Now we've known the indicators of insecure women. How then do you deal with them? We are different individuals, and each one of us has strengths. 
For example, it's not that they are totally bad people, they are really good at certain skills. So what you do, if they are good at certain skill and you're not, you call them, be like, I'm really interested in this and you know how to do it. Could you please help me? So asking for help from them makes them feel important. And in that way, you will create a very harmonious environment. Actually, my trick is, this is a secret trick, but I'll share it with you. Uh, let them shine. If you feel like they really want something that you are on, for example, if you are the head of the project and you're doing all it, it takes to move the project and you feel like this person is constantly pushing it, they want, they want to match the energy and all that. What you do, you step back, you give them the lead. It doesn't, it doesn't kill you if you just step back. Uh, you kind of step out of the limelight a bit and you let them take it. Feeling insecure, trust me, is a very bad feeling. It can even depress you, it can cause problems. So it's like you need to help these people. That's if you're not affected. It's my first episode of the Random Thoughts. I don't want to drag you on for so long.